Oh, uh, fuck. No, How no, in the hell? So, once again, everyone we just saved is dead. But, I might have underestimated the usefulness of your ape-like physique, Mr. Moscovich. That you should. Tell me. What is it? Das Yuchud is an ancient, mystical society. For millennia, we have operated with utmost secrecy up until right now. What do you do? Do you pray? Do no, you... no, Mama Lee, we don't pray. We invent things, Mama Lee. The technology developed by Das Yuchud is centuries ahead of anything you've ever seen or imagined, and highly dangerous in the wrong hands. The Nazis found our safety. They stole our secrets. They used them to win the war. Everything they have accomplished, everything was built upon our knowledge. But it wasn't our only safekeeper. We have hundreds of them hidden in the secret places of the world. Hundreds, some small and tentative like the ones the Nazis found, others. Great halls of knowledge stacked high, magnificent inventions, things that to you seem like magic. Now, I can open for you the gates to such a place. Getting there will be a challenge. What will it take? Well, the safekeepers hidden deep below the ocean. We will need a U-boat capable of great depths. That's all. Stealing a goddamn Nazi U-boat? This is what you're proposing? Are you up your head, man? I know how to get a U-boat, but for my plan to work, I need this thing operational. Can you do it? I'm an Amadas Yichud engineer. I can do this in my sleep. Good. We will need some additional features on it, too. I will prepare a specification for you. Blaskovich, help him out, sir, if you'd be so kind. Not sure how much help I'm going to be. Find welding. Oh, Bombate made it. Who the hell? Deva Rooks? Anya, obviously. I'm trying to figure out what exactly you were doing in this organization. Was it some kind of Klaus? Read that already. We believe in things supernatural. We believe in the Das Yichud is, is, is a, it's a philosophy. It is a way of understanding knowledge. It is based on pure reason, pure rash, not supernatural bobkiss. Huh. Huh. So everything you have created, what were you planning on using all that stuff for? No, you don't understand, Amale. It is, well, there was never any purpose or intent of use beyond the act of creation. We create to commune with God. Do you see that? You've lost me. It's like mathematical equations. Oh, go on, go on, made of it. And each solved equation brings you closer to God. Mm. But never intended to be used. No, the, the act of creation itself is the intended use. Oh, Tazui, made of it. She has something cooking in that Chinese of hers. Uh, do you appreciate the, 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 the distinction? Mama, let this safe keep I'm about to reveal to you is not a treasure chamber. Charlotte's letter. Oop. My dear Bobby, it's Saturday night and the bombs have barely stopped falling when I sit down to write this letter. I'm on the roof of the building where the auxiliary fire service has set up a fire station. I'm drinking a cup of coffee and smoking a cigarette and I can still hear the klaxons ringing in my ear and the whistling sound the bombs make as they fall from the sky. From up here, I can see across London. Even in its ravaged state, it's still so sordidly beautiful, isn't it? Old and rough and grimy, my home and my heart. Thank you for your letters, my love. I can't begin to tell you how much they mean to me. I hope my reluctance to reply has not caused you worries. The reason for this, and this may sound strange, that I don't want to write untruthfully to you. I feared I might upset you with my words. However, the truth is better than nothing at all, wouldn't you agree? So this is the truth. London is burning. Smoke plumes rise from the city like pillars of the earth keeping the sky from crashing down. The all-night bombardments have been unrelenting and each day has been a renewed struggle to hang on to every thread of hope one can find. How can people go on in the face of such remorseless determination? Such senseless killing? I don't know, but I am thankful that they do. I'm still covered in soot. 
I could feel the smoke in my lungs. They said women were not supposed to fight the fires, just manage communications and work in mobile, uh, mobile canteen vans and such, but things have changed. An hour ago, I was in Canning Town here in East London, the Catholic school. Do you know it? The school took a terrible hit during the recent bomb raid, and we were there trying to put out the fire. The fire raged as if, they were, as if the very gates of hell had opened up. I was holding the fire hoses together with Susie Tuckfield, and I saw children shumbling out of the ruins covered in blood and ashes. I heard tiny voices crying out from inside the burning school. One of my colleagues, Brittany, went to save a little girl on the second floor, but she never came out. She was such a sweet girl. During the last month, we have lost three of our fellow firefighters, all good friends of mine. But life goes on as it must. At night, everyone in the neighborhood goes down to a nearby bunker. Old William McKinley has turned into a bar. William McKinley, the president? The former president? Because I'm pretty sure that guy was dead. People come there to reinvigorate themselves with drinking and singing. It's quite strange to see life continuing as if nothing has happened while the bombs are falling around us. That's Londoners for you, isn't it? Last night, I dreamt of little Johnny again. We were together on the fa uh, fairground in Brighton, where we used to go during the summer. Do you remember? I was kneeling down beside him by the edge of the pier, and we looked out at the sea, and you were standing behind me, as it was so blue, Bobby. So blue, like sparkling sapphire, and calm, and no one spoke or worried about the war. I held the palm of my hand against Johnny's cheek. He was eating spun sugar, and I laughed when a spray of water from the breaking waves hit his face. When I woke up, I could still feel the soft skin of his cheek against my palm, like a phantom sensation. I cried for a long time, Bobby. There's not a day goes by I don't think about him. When you come home, when all this is over and we are together again, I want us to move out of the country then, like we've always dreamt we would. Even if we are poor now, we can make it together somehow. I truly believe that. I must go now. I can hear the sirens. I'll post this letter on the way out. Promise to send to you more. I miss you so much, Bobby. Come home to me. All my love, Charlotte. It is a deep geological repository, uh, protecting some of our most dangerous creations. <laughs> you still got it, old man. <laughs> Those don't look that heavy. You can fit through that? It's such a tiny... Okay, if you say so. This hideout's bigger than I thought. Did I just make my way upstairs? Whoa. Oh my god, what the hell? Jesus Christ, Tecla. Why aren't you asleep? I try not to sleep. No telling if I'll ever wake up. Let me ask you something. He will not understand. Where do you go when you lose consciousness? Why even bother? What? Surprise, surprise. You have a brain. The brain is a biological computational device running an electrochemical process. Your consciousness is an emergent property of said process. Blank face like that of a baby. In other words, you are your electrochemical process. Fundamentally, you have the experience of a continuous existence. You are you at this point in time, the same you as you were in the past. And you have a sensation of riding along this continuum Anya, of being you are you not future. up yet from this me? bullshit? Like, continuing. On occasions, the brain may be subjected to trauma. Temporarily discontinuing the electrochemical process, such as the boxer being knocked out. As this occurs, the brain is no longer running its electrochemical consciousness generating process. Hence, consciousness is lost. You lose consciousness. Pay attention now. At this point in time, your consciousness, all that is you, your continuum of being you, has ceased to exist in the physical world. Now, moments later, the electrochemical process may start up again, allowing consciousness to emerge out of the information stored in the brain. But I wonder, where are you in the meantime? Oh, it's so stupid. Must we not assume that at the point when consciousness is lost, the person dies? 
If a new consciousness appears or not in the same brain is entirely inconsequential to the dead consciousness. A new consciousness is simply a new person. Because it emerges from the same brain, it has access to all the memories and cognitive structures as a dead consciousness, so it thinks it is the same person, but in actuality, it is just an imposter, inheriting the body and brain from the previous, now dead inhabitant. Yes, like talking to a child. Uh, what about the soul? Oh, soul. I knew he was stupid. There's no such thing as a soul. We are machines of biology, nothing more, nothing less. Idiot! The soul simply a pointless concept dreamt up by priests and fairy tale men. You're an anomaly, you. An outlier, useless. A laughing anus is what you are. <gasps> that wakes you up. What the fuck just happened? Electrochemical process? What? What to make of you, I do not know. Are you here to help me? You seem beyond help. What are you working on? Gathering data. Nazi activity. Behavioral patterns. Hours. Theirs. Doing the math. Developing predictions. Where are they allocating resources? Where will they strike next? And after that, what are the larger trends triggering their actions? Figure out what choices they will make before they make them. You talk as if the future is inevitable, as if all our choices have already been made. <laughs> you think there is such a thing as free will? <laughs> you know so little of the world. You want to be the captain of your fate, do you? This fight, you will lose. You cannot go to war against physics. My actions are my own. I know that much. All phenomena in the physical world follow the simple rule of cause and effect. Your brain is no exception to the rule. Know the causes, you can predict the effects. The same is true for everything. Uh, so what's with the arsenal? Preparing for the end. I know where my road leads, and I intend to take as many Nazis with me as I can muster. You have any experience with firearms? Will you teach me? I just went for a nap! I didn't intend for this to happen. She's too... She's on too much caffeine to even shoot straight. Okay. That was a thing. Hooray, another health upgrade. Like, that was the reason why I fell asleep. I wanted to see if I could get another health upgrade. I did. Didn't think it would lead to that. Philomena. Aww. Wait, is that the Milo guy? Yeah, it is! He found his wife! Good for him! Esteban. Whose room is that anyway? Oh, wait. I think I found my welding equipment. Hey, hangar. That he's tinkering with them helicopters. Well, that's Fergus's room. Valentin. I think this is Klaus's room, right? Yeah. Max Hoss? Hi, Max. Still looking for your toys? I'll work on finding them, I promise. Alright, that's my room. Well, it's in the hangar, so I gotta go down. Okay. I'm working on finding the welding equipment. Just give me a sec. He was in prison at Eisenwald for three months, but he managed to escape. Really? Shh, shh, it's him. Jeez, I didn't realize that many people survived. Fergus! Hey, buddy old pal. 
What do you want, Blazkowicz? Looking for the welder. You seen it? No, I don't think so. Oh, wait a minute. No, you're right, you're right. I was meaning to sort out the railing over by the secret fountain entrance. The fucking thing fell out of my hand into the water. I'm a bit busy at the moment, but you want the welder, you go right on ahead and start swimming. The door to the secret fountain entrance is in the main room behind the table. Go over there. That explains the room I was in earlier. I just took the long way around, didn't I? Sorry, pal. Don't mean to... You know, derail your train of thought, but uh, I need to get through that door. Ah, please. What I think about, I'd rather not think about. <laughs> that bad, huh? Jay would think that when Jay seen what I have, your mind would break like an egg. How come it has not? Well, maybe it has begun already, and I just don't know it. <laughs> World changer. No matter who you are or what you're made of. Thing is, you and me, we just gotta ride the whirlwind. Make it through to the other side. And kill all the Nazis? <laughs> and kill all the Nazis. I would drink with you in celebration for near that time comes. You're on. Ooh, my laser. Nothing interesting. Almost there, almost there, almost there, almost there. Go back. Perfect. Reflection. 
The laser craft look has been upgraded with a reflection module. This module alters the beam to bounce off almost any surface and continue in a new direction with slightly weakened effect. Not exactly sure what this is doing. They're all just battery things. Fuck, what the hell? Fuck, I was not expecting this. Come on, load up. That doesn't sound good. Ah, oh, the door closed. That's not good. Tapfler Kleiner Liebling. The embodiment of young love, Caro and Carla sing of holding hands, quiet strolls, and picnics in the rolling hills. Ah, damn it. Ah, son of a bitch. Now what?
Oh, I just unlocked that door from earlier. Okay. I got it now. There we are. I agree. Seriously, like, what the hell? <laughs> what? Oh, I'm sorry, it's just my wedding ring. It's gone. I'm always so clumsy. I lost it when we got back. It's not worth much, but it's all I have left of him. Dear Sebastian. <laughs> okay, well, can you tell me where the ring is? Like, where are you le where? Well, I know you can't tell me where it is, but you can at least give me an idea, right? I guess you can't give me an idea. If we're going to steal a Nazi, we need that to repair that thing on the table. Help him with his work. Wait, I just saw it. There it is. Aha, nice. Found the ring. Now, Anna, where the fuck are you? Fergus? Hey, Fergus, come on. Talk. Talk to me. Talk to me, bitch. Oh, fine, don't talk to me. Be a bitch. Bitch. Ooh, 
Ooh, gold face. That's all I need. Or actually, would you uh, deliver this note to Anya? She will need the frequency of the transponder to track. You kind of are since you're doing it. William. Do you have a moment? Let's <laughs> go. Really? 